Hey guys, I'm going to be doing a little bit different of a video today. I have these hair pieces here. Um, these are just synthetic hair pieces. They're messy, tousled ponytails. And I have a wig, as you guys might have seen in my last contact lens review video. And I put the wig up in space buns, and I quite liked the way that looked. And now I've changed my hair color from green to blue, and so I'm going to try to put my own hair up in space buns because it's becoming hot. I don't want to have to wear a wig, but I need more volume to my hair. So, so I got these. These were quite cheap. They were about, um, I'm not sure, I'd have to look again. I'll, I'll put it in right here but they came in a two pack and I hope that they're okay because where it connects, you can kind of see right there where it's sewn together. So I'm hoping that won't really affect it. I don't know if that's normal or not, but I wanted these because these were messy. There's other brands out there that have um, these little strands are braids and I contemplated getting that but uh, I went for just the regular messy instead of the braids. Um, so I'm going to dye these blue to match hopefully my hair to blend in with my hair. So I have looked up and researched how to dye synthetic hair and if you can. And apparently you can, but not with dye, like hair dye. You have to use synthetic which makes sense dye so I've got this in sapphire blue and all you need is I will read what it says and I'll put this up here the longer you leave it obviously the darker it'll be now the directions on here are for clothing I've watched a couple of videos of people dyeing hair and what they've done is they've dropped it in pulled it out and it's been dyed I want mine darker than that, so I'm going to test it out and leave it in and see how dark and rich I can get this to look, but I will film that while I'm doing it. So I'm going to go set up, and once I have the soap and the dye and the water in the pot boiling, I will be back to dip these. Alright, so I've got my water, I've got my dye, I've got my dish soap, tongs, my hair, measuring so um, I will be back once this is at a boil and show you the dipping process okay so that's this has been about at a boil and I think I actually added the um, dish soap too soon I think you're supposed to boil it first then add the dish soap but I added I wasn't sure how much to use because the measurements on the bottle are for shirts and things three gallons of water to half a bottle of dye and of course I just have little hair things so um, I added nine capfuls because everything with me has to be odd numbers and I'm going to go ahead and check it out and do my first dip and see how it goes I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this um, Trying to figure out where to grab it from. I'm just going to grab it like this and do a quick dip. And you can see already it's picked up color. Being synthetic hair, I really don't want to leave it in, you know, to boil away. So I'm just going to kind of shake that around a little. I'm going to do one at a time just to get it. saturated and so that I can keep track synthetic hair can get tangled and weak and I don't want to mess up the hair so that worked surprisingly well <laughs> it's already pretty much at the color that I needed at Let's 
so I'm just going to take this out now just so that I don't boil the hair to the point of no return. Get off my tongs! Ugh, there you go. Okay. Amara! It's okay, girl. There we go. Look at that. And I'm just going to put it on this towel that I don't use. Okay, so I went to go rinse it off with um, water. I wanted to check to make sure before I did anything with this one that I didn't damage the elastic in the middle or any of the hair. And it's, it's still together. The hair just needs to be brushed. And of course it's wet, but this is the end result. I think I want it a little bit darker, so I'm going to add some more dye. Then I'm gonna dip it again so this is what it started this is where it's at right now all right another three capfuls of dye were added sorry i don't have a fan in here yes it is beautiful I am using the wrong kind of tongs. I wanted to use tongs I don't use for food, but they've got this hole that the hair keeps getting caught in. Floating there for a minute. Because my hair is never a light blue, so I need the dye. I need it to be a dark, rich blue, but not black, clearly blue, just dark. All right looks about right. I'm going to go rinse this off in cold water and do the other side and I'll be back when they're both done. All right and the final reveal is this. So they dyed a beautiful royal blue. I went ahead and I added the entire bottle and I dipped these a few times. Now a couple of things you'll notice they're not smooth anymore they're kind of oof that's because you know you're dealing with really high temperatures and depending on the quality of the synthetic hair it might start to melt it these don't feel necessarily melted but they have changed in texture and I don't mind in this case this one was a second one that I didn't dip as much this was the first one that I trialed out and you can tell because this one's a little bit more boiled than this one is so it, it, it's the length of time that you stick them in for and how many times as well but I I don't mind that they're messed up because they're going to be used for space buns and I hardly have any hair. So I need them to look as messed up as possible to help. They did dye, obviously. These have been rinsed. What I did was I dyed them. Um, I dyed them, swished them around, took them out, went, rinsed them off. And then I did that again a couple of times just to try to salvage the hair a little bit. Just to make sure that they didn't melt together in a way that I wouldn't be able to use these anymore. I just grabbed a handful of wigs that I had and I just tested it out to see what they would look like on other hair colors. I did a bright, bright, bright green and it muted it down to kind of a forest green. Um, I did a black to see if I could get a blue-black hue. I'm not sure if that worked yet. They're drying at the moment. After they're dry, I'll brush them out and um, you can definitely tell the quality of the wigs because some of them have shriveled up and they look like pubic hair and others are just kind of smooth like this so once I get those combed out I will grab before and after pictures of what the wigs look like and um, I'll let you see how the dyeing process went on different shades and different colors All right mini checkup you guys I'm gonna go ahead and turn the flash on for this so I've shown this stuff before I use this this is a really good I'm gonna go ahead and spray this down and brush this out a little bit with this um, wig brush I have. Uh, this stuff is amazing. I have to hold my camera so I obviously can't brush it on camera, but I just wanted to show you the before and after, sorry, and also before I attempt to untangle. These are the other wigs. Amara! 
these are the other wigs that uh, I boiled. So this one, as you can see, it did not deal with the water well at all. This was the one that was um, kind of like a dirty blonde brown color. And I loved this wig, but I know realistically I, I would never go out or have any occasion to use a natural hair color like that. So I went ahead and just dipped it to see what, what it would come out as. And it's um, di different kinds of shades of blue, like a kind of like a blue jean blue almost. Um, this one was pure white, snow white. And this one took the water quite well. As you can see, it's still pretty. It's nice and thick. The only thing I don't like about this wig is that it's ultra short, very unflattering. Hopefully this will do something to make it look a little bit better. Um, this was the one that I wore in a lot of pictures. Sorry, this part of the wall came off with it. Um, I wore this in a lot of pictures and this was bright fluorescent green, different shades of fluorescent green. And this wig is past its prime. There's nothing I could do to make it look good anymore. So I figured I'll just put it in the dye and see what happens. And you know, when you first stick it in, you can see all the hair like compress and shrink in, which in a way is a good thing because it helps the ones that are frayed and really poofy. Um, I do have another two of these wigs that I've never opened so it's completely fine if any of these wigs get ruined because I don't use these anymore. They're just really not in good condition. Uh, this one is a half green, half black wig, and this was beautiful. But it started looking really fake really fast. So I figured, yeah, let me just go ahead and stick it in the dye. And as you can see, you know, it it just changed the green. It, it looks different on camera, but in real life, this is a forest green. It's a dark, deep forest green, and that is really pretty. This is like fresh grass, and this is like forest green. These last two are just black. This one is a black one that I had started wearing that I love, but um, it had started looking a little rough and kind of poofy, and I couldn't just make it look good anymore. And I was hoping it would have a blue-black sheen to it, but as you can see, it, it doesn't. It's just black still. The cap got dyed a little bit, but yeah, I, I stuck this whole thing in there. And this other black one that I love, what is this? Um, this other one that I love, I didn't, because this is a, a longer version of the other one, I didn't stick this whole thing in just in case because this is still a good wig. I only dipped the very ends in because the ends were looking really ratty anyway and frayed and I was hoping this would kind of compress them and help smooth them out so that when I brush it, um, it will just give it a little bit more life. So I will come back when all of this is done. This is going to take me quite a while and let's hope that these are salvageable and um, they end up looking good. I, I know I'm happy with <clears throat> these scrunchies, but let's see if I totally munched up my wigs. But this gives you an idea of what it looks like when you use dye on different shades of wigs as well. All right, this is the black and green wig now after I've um, straightened it and brushed it out. So this looks almost the same. It's just that the green is more of an emerald green color. Um, I'm still trying to comb it and get it a little bit more, well, less poofy. But right, this is the one that was silver. It's very, very shiny. This one took the dye bath really well. It's super thick. This wig is probably one of the better quality wigs I have. I just wish it was longer. I don't even have many pictures of it when it was silver because I dislike this wig so much because it's like, it doesn't even reach my neck, I think, and it, that's just way too short for me, but it became a beautiful like sea blue color, and it's really, really nice and soft. This is the one that was blonde, 
and while I did like the blonde, I do like the blue more. So it's got, because it was um, different shades of blonde, it became different shades of blue. And I think this is what I'm going to wear out today. But this, this ended up being really, really nice as well. This wig is the one that was fluorescent green, and it was actually different shades of green. Um, the tiny little hairs were all different colors, and this just made it a really pretty kind of lime green color. It did darken it, um, but it made it a much more, I guess, natural, realistic green color. And here at the bottom, it's darker. So it's uh, darker, and then it's, it's light, and then it gets darker as it goes down. So this actually ended up being a really nice color as well. And this wig was at the end of its life. I was going to have to throw it away because it was really just frayed and gross and it wasn't it wasn't doing too good. But now it it looks a lot better. I might get a couple of uses out of it. All right, and lastly, this is the black one that I had and I had dyed this with the blue Rit dye as well to see if it would give it a blue sheen or blue shine and it did not do anything. Now I have the other long black one and I dipped the edges in, I boiled the edges, but it's the same thing. It didn't do anything. So this is it after being straightened and dried and um, combed out and this one did pretty well for being boiled, but it didn't give it any kind of a uh, a blue highlight or anything, unfortunately.